afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual we need to show our results from the premium uh, from the signals premium group and we are going to show the results either it's a win or loss and thankfully we had actually good profit last week uh, we can see that on Monday we have ended with about 180 pips of profit only against these 15 and minus 5 pips of loss manually closed. Uh, we send the notifications of course to close these trades manually and by the way the members are really happy about this new notifications thing when we are sending the, res the notification to close the trade with small loss. Uh, we can see on the next day on Tuesday we had just uh, bad trades on the pound AUD and pound NZD also Euro AUD and <coughs> that's it uh, against Euro NZD has hit in the take profit level 3 and Euro AUD as well and I just want to mention something some people are actually against us because we are counting the take profit level 3 as a profit I mean this is our right how many times I have to say that we send the signals with take profit 1 2 3 if the signal will hit the take profit level 3 of course I have the right to mention that this is our signal results this is our this is crediting for us you know what I mean it's our credit I mean we can, we have to take the credit for this one I cannot just say uh, I cannot just count the take profit level one and ignore two and three we just simply we cannot do that what the scammers really do is they are counting all of them all together so for example the take profit level one is 20 pips take uh, profit level two is 50 and take profit level 3 is 100 what the scammers doing and I have seen that myself is they are with the candle or the market will reach the take profit level 3 they will count 100 plus 50 plus 20 so they will have total of 170 pips of profit they will say that they will pretend they got 170 pips of profit because they will count them all and really I have seen that with my own eyes but what, what, what we are doing on extreme trader is being honest and just we are counting the total profit of uh, the signal if it hit the take profit level 3 we just say 120 pips or 100 pips and that's it uh, we are doing our best to be honest with everyone and if somebody wants to still criticize us that is really up to them anyway uh, the signals have ended in good results and we are so far having three uh, trades still running one of them is going in about 10 pips of profit the other two are going in very few pips of loss maybe I think two or three or maybe five or pips of loss so far hopefully next week we are going to make some good profits and so far the signals are really going so well if you want to join the premium signals group please don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details on telegram in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you all there so going to the weekly analysis let's right now see what's happening on the market because what happened recently is very interesting I mean it seems like the coronavirus and the world events are really controlling the market nowadays uh, the euro USD is falling like there's no tomorrow it's just keep falling more and more uh, however I believe that this fall for the euro USD has to stop right now and the euro USD is gonna make some bounce uh, until a certain level let me just go now to the daily candles uh, we can see that on the daily candles we are facing here a strong support level also right here and right here all of these were key support levels and not to mention that the very same level was also a key resistance level and here and here so we have total of three attempts of the support now of course this is daily candles let's check now the weekly candles now this is actually more clear uh, what we can see here on the daily candles is we are having here a support number one and we are seeing here the key support level we talked about remember each candle of these representing one week so each candle actually can represent a, a strong support or resistance and we can see that this is the small week here or the tail representing a strong support level and not to mention, the, not to mention this one right here so all in all the euro USD is really facing now a strong support and resistance level uh, what happened last week was the breakout from this support level here we can see the breakout candle here happened last week therefore I believe what's gonna happen right now that the euro USD is gonna make small bounce go up all the way to retest this uh, broken support level and then gonna continue 
the falling because the bearish momentum is really so strong therefore we let's go back to the four hour chart and if I'm not mistaken the euro USD is about to make the bounce right now and we need to select the level where we can start again shorting the euro USD uh, if I'm not mistaken and hopefully not uh, I think it's safe right now to buy the euro USD because as I said we are facing a very strong support level and we can keep our trade running all the way until the pair hit this previous resistance right here uh, again this is the four hour chart let me just go back to the daily candles and yes indeed that is where I'm expecting for the pair to actually make the reversal not to mention this price action right here this candle here that price that price action if you see it at the very bottom of a support level usually it's indicating a good reversal a bearish a bullish reversal at this support level so I'm expecting for the next week the market is actually gonna make the pullback and it's gonna go up here then once the candle reach this resistance level we need to see a good price action indicating for the short and then we can again short the pound sorry the euro USD so uh, euro USD is actually good for the buy right away let me just mention that euro USD is for the buy now if I'm not mistaken hopefully the, the euro USD can be uh, long right now and our take profit level is gonna be on the level 1.09211 again we need to see a good price action indicating for the short uh, once the market reaches re previous resistance and if that if, it, if that happens I'm gonna notify everyone on YouTube and Facebook to start uh, shorting the euro USD let's check now the pound USD now the pound USD um, let's go back to the daily candles I mentioned that it is good for the short because we are facing a strong resistance right here and we can see that is exactly what happened and the pair has reversed actually let me just go back to the daily candles uh, if I'm not mistaken it was somewhere here yeah right here exactly like that I mentioned that the pair is good for the short and here is the level where the candles has actually reversed and the pair went down for almost let's see for almost 32 31 pips then on 13th February there was totally unexpected news and I think everyone have heard that about the resignation of Mr. Javid the finance manager or the uh, yeah I think the finance manager in the British government finance finance uh, minister maybe I, I don't know anyway he was the important person he have resigned and that led for the pound USD to unexpectedly to jump up like that breaking out from this resistance so that was totally unexpected news all right so please no it's not my fault it's not anyone's fault what happened that is Forex the signal was going nicely going in profit if unex unexpected news happened outside and I mean if unexpected news happened in the world it's really not my fault I cannot be taking any blame for that and I hope you guys understand that so what's happening now next for the pound USD after the breakout from this resistance I can see that the pound USD now is facing a strong bullish um, uh, it's actually now in going in bullish momentum because now it's facing a strong support level on let me just uh, say it for you uh, on the level 1.29239 we can see the very strong support level here on the 4 hour chart and on daily candles we can see that the pair has reversed from these two supports level breaking out from that resistance right here so what is the next move for the pound USD is simply as we can see on daily candles we can see that we have here a resistance number one and right now the market is on the creation of a resistance number two and seems like the pair has already reversed look at this candle here seems like this candle has already reversed went down however uh, this price action usually indicating a bearish reversal so I'm expecting for the market now on Monday opening to actually go down like that here hitting this previous support level and from that point it's gonna be good for the buy we can start buying the pound USD at this level and we can expect that trade to keep going all the way until it hit this previous resistance so saying that on daily chart let's go back to the four hour chart and let's give the signal right here let me just tell you that we can start buying again the pound USD 
on the second attempt of this support as we can see here because on this uh, on the left side we can see a strong support many some many attempts of the support level four attempts actually and actually to be honest with you uh, the good level to give the signal to buy is exactly right here however I'm giving the signal on this support level just in case because maybe the market is actually gonna bounce after hitting the support number two right here when it creates support number two it might actually reverse and go up here therefore the signal is gonna be given right on the support level and you can expect the market to go against you for maximum of 16 pips in my opinion and hopefully if I'm not wrong therefore let me just give you the signal for the pound you see to buy on the level 1.30008 and again expect that trade to go against you for almost 15 pips or 16 pips before it actually gonna be in good profit and we can close the trade with profit hopefully once the market hit this uh, resistance level after almost 200 pips and hopefully they are gonna be in profit so this is your take profit level on 1.31986 hopefully the market will be loyal and there, there will not be any more unexpected news from the UK, UK government let's check right now the AUD USD now the AUD USD signal if uh, I was if I'm not mistaken for the last week it was for the short because I was expecting for the pair to actually reverse on this resistance and that is exactly what happened we can see that we had here this resistance level and right here again and this resistance kept its position as a resistance and the pair is falling down so from my point of view going to the daily candles we can see that the pair has reversed from this resistance and that it's like making a channel it's going down and we also have here as a resistance number two and here is a resistance number one uh, seems like the pair is gonna keep its bearish momentum and this candle is gonna continue falling more down uh, let me just give the signal for shorting the AUD USD actually it's gonna be good for the short right away because reading these candles what we can see here is if I if I create a channel we can see uh, let me just do it manually uh, here one second like that and like that so creating this zone here we can see that we had here a support zone and right here on the very same zone we are having another uh, level of the support level and the candles are not able to to close actually below this zone here we can see that this candle couldn't close below this zone and right here as well it is just harmonic I mean it is going um, to be honest I'm not sure how to, to describe it in English but what I what I'm trying to say that the market is following this uh, harmony of uh, movement or respecting the level if that is the right term so finally we are seeing one candle here has broken out from the support level and another candle closed at the doji could not even go up again therefore most likely what's gonna happen right now for the AUDUSD is it's gonna fall after breaking out from this support zone therefore the cell uh, sorry the signal for the AUDUSD this week is gonna be for the short on the level actually right now actually right now and if the market goes against you it's gonna go for nothing like four pips maybe maximum ten I believe it's gonna continue the fall because the bearish momentum is very strong here and eventually looking at the weekly candles right now we can see that the market has tried to make one attempt to break out from this support level it failed look at that look at the weekly candle the weekly candle has closed below this uh, zone which I have drawn right now I mean really I didn't see the, the weekly candles I didn't see the weekly candle before recording just now after drawing it I see it now and that is actually more clear uh, for me that the bearish uh, the, the, the AUD USD is good for the sell and it's gonna keep its bearish momentum after this breakout from the support so um, after this breakout we can keep the thread running let me just say something for you that we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit until it hit this previous support level for almost 50 pips and after that we're gonna see what will gonna happen 
uh, if the pair is gonna bounce or not in my opinion it is not going to bounce most likely it will continue falling more below the support level so that's the signal for the AUD USD hopefully it's gonna be followed let's look at the USD CAD now what's happening with the, with the USD CAD is it's facing a strong support level as I said before uh, let me just see on daily candles we are facing right now a very strong support level right here we can see that the market has a key support level right here and here as well both of these levels right now uh, seems like they are respecting this level and again become a support level now there is a problem here is we are facing also a strong resistance and we can see that the pair has reversed four times actually more than four times uh, since long time the pair is reversing from this uh, resistance attempt so what is gonna happen next I mean the USD CAD seems like it's re re reversing at this resistance many times so we cannot really expect for the pair to break out from this level right away what I'm expecting from the from the uh, USD CAD is actually it's gonna fall down a little bit hit the previous support level right here let me just uh, mention it for you right here I'm expecting for the USD CAD to actually fall down a little bit again hit this previous support uh, before it's actually gonna be good for the buy I'm telling you it's good for the buy here for one reason and if we draw because if we draw a resistance trend line we can see that the pair is actually breaking out from this level and right now it's on the retest level so after breaking out from this trend line the pair has reversed on this resistance now it's on the retest after hitting the, this level of, of, of the support after retesting this level it's gonna continue its bullish momentum therefore the signal for the USD CAD is gonna be good for the buy let me just be sure on the levels which level to give you the signal it's gonna be good if I'm not mistaken right here let me just be sure please all right uh, yes definitely uh, okay okay that's better so it's gonna be good for the buy on the level uh, 1.32154 and we can keep the trade running if the market is gonna break this uh, resistance level we're gonna keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so we can look for almost 200 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all uh, keep in mind this is daily candles so let's be realistic here I will just change the, the take profit level to be again right on this resistance here so we can look for almost 100 pips of profit that's more convenient hopefully the market is gonna respect this uh, analysis and is gonna follow it now let's look at the USDGPY now the USDGPY uh, as I said in the last week is gonna go up here I think the last uh, week analysis or the midweek analysis uh, the buy signal was given somewhere here if I'm not mistaken and the market indeed kept going up until it hit this resistance now it is falling I don't think the USDGPY is gonna break out from this resi uh, resistance at all we are facing a resistance that has been that had many attempts to break out and the USDGPY is just failing to break out from the resistance right here and here we can see that fake breakout the market tried to break out from this level and then bounce again now on the next attempt the market couldn't even go above this level and here as well it couldn't go above this level and closed so the USDGPY is facing a very strong resistance now and I believe the USDGPY should be good for the short after having these attempts of the resistance therefore let's hope the USDGPY is gonna rise up again just to hit this resistance level because we are having already here attempt number one of the resistance and I'm expecting for the market after bouncing on these support attempts to rise a little bit more up hit the previous resistance and then it's gonna fall down all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so the signal for the USDGPY is gonna be for the short on the level uh, 109.873 873 correct and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so this is your take profit level take profit on 
zero and that hopefully is gonna bring for us almost 68 pips of profit let's check right now the USD CHF the USD CHF as I said is going up uh, unfortunately it didn't reach the buy level however it just continued rising more up um, and I think the but the USC CHF is right now on the level where it's gonna bounce, retest the broken resistance, and then gonna continue rising more up. So let me just delete all of that. And as I said before, the USD CHF is right now facing a strong resistance right here, actually. Exactly right here. Exactly where is it right now? And if I'm not mistaken, the USD CHF is gonna bounce all the uh, bounce down. To retest this broken resistance level uh, and this support level is gonna keep its position as a support and the pair after this bounce is gonna continue the rise therefore um, I can give the signal to start shorting the UCCHF however I don't want to do that because the bullish momentum is very strong here uh, I don't think uh, it's gonna be safe to short uh, the UCCHF it's better if we just wait for the right moment before we start actually the buy therefore let me just uh, give you the safe signal that is better actually let me just look at the left definitely yes actually that's that's better all right uh, okay mm. let's go to the four hour chart okay that's that's better now actually yes like that that's better we can expect for the UCCHF as I said to bounce on these resistance attempts and then fall down they're retesting this breaking out support uh, resistance and this support is gonna keep its position as a support and the pair is gonna rise here therefore the UCCHF is gonna be good for the buy on the level 0 0.97857 and we can keep our trade running all the way until the market hit actually this resistance right here so we can look for almost 133 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all let's right now check the gold the gold signal is going really very well and I'm so happy for that because as I said in the last midweek analysis video uh, we can start buying the gold right here because we had a resistance I told you that we can expect the pair to actually fall down on this support level and then we can start buying the pair again uh, it just went down again to our old entry level or sorry the last week uh, analysis video uh, entry point and as I said this support kept its position as a support many times one two three four times and then the pair continued the rise so actually I think the gold is gonna continue this uh, bullish momentum however we can expect for the pair to actually reverse at this resistance right here look at that it almost reversed already I think actually right here like that perfect I'm actually looking right here on these resistance attempts so the pair seems like it hit this resistance level and then it's gonna fall down and if I'm not mistaken it's gonna fall down all the way until it retest this broken resistance and this support we have a support number one and we are gonna see a support number two after that the pair is gonna be good for the buy and the pair is gonna continue rising more up however please 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 be careful when you are trading the gold it is very sensitive for the for the news uh, events for coronavirus thing and for the oil prices I mean please pay attention and be careful when you are trading the gold it's not uh, easy to trade like the other currencies or like the currencies actually therefore this is my signal for the gold um, I don't want to give you any signal for the sell I'm just advising you that the best thing we can do is waiting for the right moment to start buying the gold and if I'm not mistaken the right moment to buy the gold is gonna be on the level 1574.84 that's gonna be really safe level to start buying the gold as I said we're having here a strong support level and after the market fall down to retest this uh, support level it's gonna bounce all the way and the gold hopefully is gonna go all the way up and hitting this resistance level so if this has happened and hopefully it does let me just set this as my take profit level 
so we can aim for almost 142 pips of profit so that was my analysis for this week I really hope it's gonna work well um, uh, I just want to say something here that I'm actually disappointed because when there is a signal going wrong I see really harsh comments on YouTube but when the signals are going well in profit um, the, the video is like a muted room there is nobody talking it's very quiet there I mean that is actually disappointing I mean I'm doing this hard work I just love to see people getting benefit from this work here if you see if you have any good signals or any good profit using my signals please mention something in the comments it's, it's really meaning a lot to me and don't just uh, attack when there is a signal going bad I mean I'm doing here my best to help everyone and to help you guys to enjoy trading forex and make profits I mean all I'm asking for is just please I want to see more comments more more of your opinions about the signals uh, more discussions and I would love to see uh, profession, professional traders as well uh, if they have any ideas or inputs to add on these signals please share it with me I would really love to have these discussions with you however uh, in the end I hope it's gonna be a really good week for everyone and very profitable of course and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.